You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Who doesn't wow. love butterflies? Now that's a beautiful <laughs> scene. Butterflies enjoying Bidwell Park today in Chico. What an amazing shot. We need those pollinators too. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see them uh, hard at work, Howie. Yeah, looks uh, looks nice out there now. I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that over the course of the next few days because yeah. winds are picking up. Maybe some rain in the lower levels. And look at the higher levels. Look at what we have here. This is a shot. Our bold mountain camera in Butte County looking to the southwest. Can't really see too much to the southwest because we're looking at some snow in those higher elevations where we got winter weather warnings effective tonight at 4,000 feet and higher. So PM showers and thunderstorms, again, remove the question mark. We had some cooler and more showers later on in the week. And unfortunately, but fortunately, we do warm up, but that best warm up is going to be after the weekend. Here's our satellite radar. So these have really lost energy and weakened because last couple hours I've been monitoring some thunderstorms in the Redding area. We're seeing heavy bands of rain. We're seeing gusty winds and we're seeing some light hail. We're seeing some thunder, obviously, or hearing some thunder and seeing some lightning. But really, you see it just kind of weakening, very minuscule compared to what these storms were in the last hour, hour and a half and two hours ago. And most of the valley just staying on the dry your side because the mountains are blocking out a lot of the rain from the coastal ranges and then pushing down the mountain with down sloping which is a push down drying and actually a warming effect then you see a lot of the moisture getting pushed up the mountains and that's where most of the activity is in the higher elevations now for tomorrow now other than the winds and the rain and then yes the snow look at these temperatures really coming down we had some 80s a couple days ago in the north mountains no we're struggling to get out of the 40s then the sierra and the cascades look at these temperatures 30 and 40s we were well into the 70s for a good couple of days then in the foothills on the ridge similar situation we were seeing 70s and here we are topping out in the 30s and the 40s chilly then in the northern valley overnight then you add some wind and a little rain chillier so i say double up on the blankets and you might even hold on to the, uh, the blankets or, or a jacket for tomorrow because we're going to stay 20 degrees below average for our highs and really in the mid valley the same applies chilly overnight double up on the blankets and then for tomorrow yeah i'm going to need a jacket after seeing 77 78 degree weather now topping out in the mid 50s without the sun adding winds and maybe even some rain to that chilly 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 here's our future cast now it's a bit of a quirky system they move in they move out we dry off so really it's on and off really pretty much until Saturday when we start to see a real dry off and then even a warm up for the area. But here's what we got Thursday. Yes, no yard work Friday, a little better, but Saturday and Sunday, not horrible. But look what happens after the weekend. 70s headed into 80s, especially for Redding. So we have some cooler temperatures that need warming. We still got some showers and upper level snow and some winds we're going to deal with for really next couple of days. We keep saying it. One more round of winter weather, then it's spring. So this, <laughs> this is the last one, right, Howie? Mother Nature is relentless. Yeah, okay. all right. Thanks, Howie. Well, new